Shalom, once I praise this to Yahweh, Barsham Yahweh Shai, Barsham Raka Kodash, and the brothers to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and to the brothers out there in the highways and the byways the the teaching is true, in our sincerity and in our honesty, we we'll, we'll extend our peace, um, our Lord's peace unto you, same because we're living in a very serious time, a time when, when, the, when the apostles are called the year of prophecy. As a matter of fact, you can drop that scripture there in um, the Apocrypha. I think it is um, Ecclesiastes 39, verse 1. Yeah, where are they? Same because God was jumping at the prophecy at the same time because that's the time that we are living in at this moment. Living in, in the time when we're going to see the major prophecies of the Bible um, be fulfilled. Prophecies like when Daniel we speak about 39 verse 1. Prophecies that in the Daniel we, we speak about um, before the last piece of uh, rule get thrown down. Uh, prophecies where we speak about the mark of the beast which is our Friday microchip only come uh, power question. See? See? On um, the war of Armageddon, Revelation 16, this is World War 3. These are some major events which is yet to, to, to come up on the earth. And not, not to forget the time of Jacob's trouble. And who is Jacob? The people on the side. So we are here to bring forth the mind of the Lord. Because you just say, who has known the mind of the Lord? We know the mind of the Lord because the Lord gave us the understanding. So we come. To teach uh, and to the people of the most side of mind or his mindset to understand his will. Um, it's an Ecclesiastes 39 verse 1. Hmm? It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is and is occupied in, in, the, med in the meditation of the earth. The earth will will seek out the wisdom out the wisdom of all ancient and and, and be being occupied, occupied in prophecies right so you have to be occupied in prophecies see so right now you're supposed to be all up in them and them prophecies like we're all up in a, in a woman see because right now as we said before we are living in a prophetic time and based on the prophecies them and some nice things now go up, up on the earth. Some dreadful things gonna happen. The, the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Unlike to what the, the common misconception of people have that the day of the Lord is gonna be a flaws and days. The, the scripture said to what end? Is it for you? See? So that that's that the mindset you're supposed to have now. Last night when we when you hear the breaking news say how oh, America strikes Syria, see? If, if at any point in time, wisdom or any form of understanding, well, within you, you're supposed to be on your P's and your Q's. As the brother, um, I was said last night, if you hear that news, I, you know, be shaken last night, like, so, you feel at ease here, that means that something is wrong with it. Because you don't understand the times that you're living in. When you hear that America strikes Syria, you're supposed to put your piece of your cues. Am I ready? You know, you ask, you, ask, you ask yourself the question, am I ready? See? But really, I go on. See, I'm ready for this one. Because, see, what, what people have is, this is the mindset of people. What takes place in the Middle East, it won't affect them over here. No. Every time I teach, well, most time I teach, we keep on referring to the monument where in a point on Dona Square. There's a reason why that monument is down there. The Great War 2001, where men of Port Antonio get drafted to fight that World War. The names of the men who get drafted is on, that, is on three blocks down there. You can go and read it for yourself. Right there, NCB Bank, there is a plaque inside, and there is also one outside where to speak about. That war, the Great War, World War I. And upon further research, men will get drafted from Port Antonio to fight that war. Because if you understand, so enough of them die up in the Arctic because when, this, when, it, when the enemy 
the so-called white man, which, which is known as the biblical Edomites, carry them up there. They're not giving them a blanket. So them, eh, eh, so them die. Just like I'm Switzerland, I think Switzerland you have to do some, some time in the, in the military. See? That's how it is right now. So, so you can't say because the army in the Middle East, it will affect your trading. Take place in the east to the west. And if there's a world war, then guess what? Trade never stop. But you're going to cut off certain resources and it's going to be detrimental to you people. Now, scripture. See? Now, scripture. And it's Isaiah 34 and 1. Mm -hmm. it says, Come, ye nations, to hear and all in ye people. Let the earth hear and all that, that is therein. Mm -hmm. The world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations uh -huh. and his fury upon all the hey, army. Hey, so this is this is the first thing we need to understand. No, the word indignation means righteous anger. So in other words, the Lord is saying that his righteous anger is upon all nations and his fury upon their armies. And that is the reason why we are this close to World War III. Because it is prophecy. It is prophetic. It was written and it has to be well, before it even written, it was spoken out of the mouth of the most high. So it has to happen. Because the heavenly father is not a vain talker. Not, not like men will speak and it will come to pass. Whatsoever the heavenly father brings forth to him son, it will come to pass. And there is none that can say, don't do this or do that. We're not just speak about World War III now because of the common thing on the news. Yeah, we are speak about World War III before it's even obvious that there is going to be a World War. You know what I mean? Because the scripture tells you that, look, there is going to be a World War. From then, we are talking about it. If you can search for the videos, yeah, yeah, going way back, you yeah, can notice it. Yeah. You know? This has been taught from a long while ago. <laughs> so we know the party band wagon. Uh -huh. Everybody has talked about where we actually know. Yeah. Because them see something they, in the news. Yeah, something in the news. See? We have a perfect understanding coming up what is going to be transpired through the scriptures, man. So it's a prophecy we are dealing with here. You know what I mean? So in a sense, what we are saying is coming to pass, man. But you people don't, don't, don't realize that because you yeah, are checks say yo, we are talking about rare watching because we see it a manifest like oh you see it a manifest now. You know what I mean? Here is the old year through the sign, man. Yes, we're we telling them telling you who is gonna participate in rare watching before you even see that on the news, man. You know what I mean? So we are the one where uh, uh, is the forerunner and tell you all this thing I go. You know what I mean? And know that everybody has come to the, um, the understanding that look, we're heading to, into a third world war. war, which by the way, started. See, we're going to tell you the outcome. Who is going to be the victor in that war, man? Because just like how we did tell you a long time, said there's a war coming, it's the same I'm going to tell you how it will go, how it will end. See? Precept. Uh, um, good job. Good precept. So, back to brother. Um, at Jeremiah 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou know this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the prophets right. of the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries. When you're going back into ancient time, man, seeing these things were spoken by the prophets, man. See? In the time the Lord sent prophets, he sent prophets basically to tell you of the destruction of the kingdom dead in power. And many after, we're a farming. See, there's, all, there's where there is a need for a prophet. When there's an impending destruction coming, man. 
the Lord sent prophets to tell us, hey, look, this is what's going to happen. You know, come to tell us, hey, look, man, um, tell them people, say, peace are coming. No. You know what I mean? Verse 8 to the prophets that have been before me and before thee of all right. prophesied both against many countries right. and against great kingdoms. Right now, right now, what's prophesied against what? Prophesied against America and NATO, man. With all them conglomerates and nations, the mighty nations, we're about to go to war now. See? We come out and prophesy against these, these, um, these nation men and tell us, look, Lord, I'm going to get them in the Middle East, which basically is, which basically is taking place right now. Because the Lord, how about Shimei was shy? You know what I mean? shy. See, he says, um, against many countries and right. against great kingdoms right. of war. Of and war. So we we'll come to speak about the war that is impending over the earth, man. See, we have an impending destruction um, coming up for the society, man. And as I can see on the news now, you see the main talk is about World War III, man. That's the main talk, yeah? You know what I mean? They have given a chart passing by. You know, sure right. this thing is right near, man. Can you pick it up here? Sure. Anyway, he says, um, he says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of all prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Come and speak about World War Three, yeah. Royal War Tree, it's hot on the subject right now. Very hot topic now. You know what I mean? It's all over the news. You know what I mean? This is only the beginning, man. What is to come? Yeah. A few strikes on Syria is nothing yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Syria is going to fuck you. That must just yeah. get thrown out. King the Yeah. Verse 9 to the prophets. The, the, the prophet which prophesied of peace, right. when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall that the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. Right. And the only time, only time of peace coming, man, is when the Lord ever shall make my rival shine and the nation. To shine and Israel get delivered, man. See? Those are two words. That is when, see, peace ever truly be upon the earth. Until then, there's no peace, man. You have a lot of people saying that um, the, 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 the whole situation in America um, and Russia results, you know what I mean, and them toss it out, you know what I mean? And them don't escalate it no further. You know, man, it, 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 it's gonna get only worse. Because America has no option at this point but to go to war. And whatsoever excuse there is to justify themselves in the sight of the people to do so. We're going to make full use of it, man. John 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. This is what the Lord proclaiming, man. See? This is the time of inner, man. Prepare war. Right. And the Lord is preparing war, man. Can't you see? And the Lord is preparing war. Just switch the TV and the news, man. You know what I mean? And you see war being prepared, man. <laughs> hey, hey, information are far away now. Exactly. Yeah, people that pretend like, oh, this never happened, man. Yeah? yeah? You shit don't get real on you. You can't deny it anymore because they're going to be directly affected. As the brother speak about earlier, the great famines are going to hit all this, this piece of island here, man. Yeah. Seeing great violence are going to hit the island, man. And they never understand full well. How much these things will ever affect you, man? Look, we have besieged the uh, Lick Island among yeah. water. Right. It's like a prison you know, in a uh, uh, siege. Right. Yeah. 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 Alcatraz. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're bigger. Over there. Yeah. Little bigger than Alcatraz. <laughs> yeah. um, Joel 3, verse 9. Proclaim eat this among the Gentiles. Right. Prepare war. Right. Wake up the mighty men. Who are the mighty men? Russia. China. Right. Iran. Turkey, America, 
Yeah. And the NATO friends, them, man. Pakistan. See, yeah. India Pakistan, make, India. India make blood tweet, much in bunkers for, for, for citizens. Hey, things is getting yeah. real, real, man. Real, real. I just a nigga want to live in a illusion. You know what I mean? The Prime Minister out here doing when all, the, when all the world a panic, the world, the world atmosphere in Jamaica, hey, shit is not going on. Everything is all right. You know, Europe people are finding peace and in queues. People fretting, and there are people out here um, be, um, behaving like um, uh -huh. nothing ever happened. You know what I mean? And they're gonna never know why even tra transpired last night, man. Die last night and then I see. Hey! Chance me! Two there! Nobody else this there because it takes this slow! Exactly. Anything could happen? Uh -uh. <laughs> hey! Anything could happen? This is hilarious, eh? This shit is hilarious!